All right, people, so we're going to be back for the second part. Um, I got interrupted by my mother, unfortunately. Um, so I have to keep my door open, so if you hear any noises in the background, I do apologise. So, um, right, so we're going to get into uh, part two. So I'm going to start again for part two. So League Two promotion is still possible for Halifax Town. Um, it does look like it, to be fair. They're third in the division. They beat Sutton United uh, last night. Me and my friends, a couple of weeks ago, on the 15th of February, we were supposed to go to that game, but we didn't. We, we couldn't go to the game, obviously, because it was called off due to bad weather, and Halifax won the game 1-0 um, through a late penalty. And um, the third in the division, I think they're in the playoff places, and, uh, you know, they're looking quite well. Uh, they're doing really, really well in the division. I don't know how the National League works in terms of promotion. Or obviously, the top team will go up, which will be Barrow, I think, uh, managed by former Blackpool defender Ian Evert. I'll get on to Blackpool in a little bit because um, they've appointed a new manager. And, um, yeah, um, I think looking at, um, from a Halifax point of view, that would be mad to see Halifax Town playing against the likes of possibly... Uh, Plymouth Argyle, Bolton Wanderers. Um, I don't know whether Plymouth go up or not. I'm not too sure. Um, you know, and there's so many teams that, uh, you know, South End United as well. You know, some great teams in League Two uh, playing on Sky Sports, possibly, sometimes when it's the international break. And also looking at games like, um, um, you know, obviously Halifax being on FIFA. That would be absolutely mental. I'd definitely do Halifax Town career mode on FIFA 21 if they are promoted and if FIFA improves. You know, that's what I am going to say about that one. Um, but yeah, that would be an interesting project, that wouldn't it? Halifax Town to get promoted um, to, to, to the Football League. And maybe I could take them to the Premier League on FIFA. You never know. So yeah, um, that would be absolutely bonkers if uh, they could do that. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Blackpool, we're going to move on to them now. Uh, the League One club appointed Liverpool's reserve manager, Neil Critchley. He's taken charge of a couple of Liverpool games. Uh, the Liverpool youngsters uh, were played as the first team in the in their Carabao Cup game away at Aston Villa. Um as Jurgen Klopp and the Liverpool players went to the FIFA Club World Cup, which they won. And, um, you know, Villa went through, uh, obviously, which was their route to the Carabao Cup final, which they lost to Manchester City. Um, and, of course, Liverpool... Um, um, I don't know if I said Liverpool, but yeah, Blackpool, you know, I think it's a risky appointment maybe, bringing in somebody. Um, oh yeah, I think the second thing I was going to refer to there was he took charge of the FA Cup replay against Shrewsbury, which Jurgen Klopp refused to attend because he wanted a break. Um, I don't think, I can't remember any time that's ever happened. Um, but yeah, uh, Critchley did take charge of that one. Liverpool won that game 1-0 thanks to an own goal from one of the Shrewsbury guys. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, Simon Grayson was sacked. I don't know. Is he going to be good? You know, is he? He's only managed reserve clubs. I don't think there's as much pressure on the reserve coaches. Um, you know, it's a first big job for him uh, at Blackpool. Wish him all the best. Hope he does well at Blackpool. You never know. He could uh, he could turn things around miraculously and maybe get him into a playoff position. I'm not too sure whether that's going to happen or not. They look miles away. But yeah, you know, we could see potential in a possible new in a new manager um, in the in the game so good luck to him and finally going to go into my Premier League predictions Liverpool are taking on Bournemouth at Anfield um, it's important that Liverpool get back to winning ways I think they will I think they'll win the game by two goals to nil in this one I don't think it'll be convincing but a win's <clears throat> a win's a win so Liverpool two Bournemouth nil London derby Arsenal against David Moyes' West Ham I think Arsenal are going to win this game comfortably in this one. I think West Ham played really, really well against Southampton. But I think, you know, Arsenal will want to desperately uh, get back to winning ways in the Premier League as well. Um, 
I've got a game against City uh, after this as well. Um, uh, game in hand. I'm going to go for 3-0 to Arsenal in this one. I think you know they'll still feel that 4th and 5th are possible of getting in there if City's you know, appeal isn't overturned. Uh, Crystal Palace against Watford. I think this one will be a tight game at, at Sellers Park. Obviously, Watford celebrated a great victory. Sometimes, you know, teams might... Uh, I remember Norwich, um, when they beat Man City, everyone was hyping Norwich and saying, you know, oh, Norwich are going to do... You know, were excellent against City. Then the next game they played Burnley away and they lost a the game 2-0. This could be the case here for Watford. If they come to the Sellers Park thinking, oh, well, we can beat Liverpool, we can, beat, we can definitely beat Palace. You know, simples. But I think it'll be a tight, competitive battle at Sellers Park. I think it will be 1-1 between these two teams. So I think it's going to be a tight game. I think it could go either way. I don't think there'll be many goals. I think it'll probably be last on match of the day. Um, I'm going to go for a one all draw. Sheffield United against Norwich. Two teams are promoted um, to the Premier League. The top two of the Championship from last season. Um, Sheffield United on their quest to get into a possible unlikely Champions League place. Against Norwich, you have four points from safety. I think this is an important game for both teams. It could go either way. I think Norwich are capable of upsetting Sheffield United here. They, they beat Leicester. I had a feeling that they beat Leicester and they did. Um, I, had a, I had a feeling they beat Wolves the week before but they, they lost 3-0 but yeah I'm going to go 3-1 Sheffield United in this one I think Norwich will definitely 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 feel that they've got a really good chance if they win this game they're one point away from safety that's mad you know everyone was writing Norwich off but they've got a real chance of staying in this Premier League now if they can win this game they've only won one game away from home all season that was against Everton if they can win that They've definitely got a superb chance of staying up. Southampton against Newcastle. Two teams I think are pretty much safe. Um, I'm going to go home advantage. 2-1 Saints. I think I think they're good at home, Southampton. Um, I think it'll be tough. I think it'll be tight. you know. But I think Southampton will just edge it. I think there's players in that Southampton team that will want to impress Gareth Southgate and possibly want to get a place in the Euro 2020 squad. Um, Wolves against Brighton. I think this one, well, you know, both teams play attractive football. You might be shocked by my prediction in this one. I'm going to go for a 1 0 Wolves win. Now, the reason you might say that I'm shocked, I don't know why I've got this piece of. Out in the, way. Um, the reason you might seem shocked is because, you know, you might think mm, there should be more goals in that, but I've just got a feeling that Wolves will just edge it 1 0. You know, probably a game a lot of missed chances. I think Wolves will just nick it. Burnley against Tottenham on Saturday night football. Again, I think it's going to be so, so tough. I think it's going to be a one-all draw in this one. I think I think Burnley could possibly win. I think Burnley I think Burnley more likely to win than Spurs, if that makes sense. Um, because Spurs are lacking strikers. I don't know. Football's a funny old game, you know. I'd, I'd take my hats off to Spurs if they win this game. Against Burnley, I'm going to go for a one all draw in this one. I think I'll get a point apiece. Into Sunday's predictions, Chelsea take on Everton at Stamford Bridge. Um, I'm going to go for 3 2 to Chelsea in this one. I'd like Everton to win, but I think, I, I don't know, I feel like Chelsea, because they're at home, return of Ancelotti, I think they'll be up for it. I think they'll be pumped up. Um, I think Chelsea will just edge it 3 2. They lost their game at Goodison Park last time, 3 1, in Duncan Ferguson's first game as caretaker boss. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Chelsea to win 3 2. The Manchester Derby, Manchester United against Manchester City. Can United do the double over Pep City? I think I'm going to make a really bold prediction. And there's no bias because I'm always honest with my predictions. From, you know, and uh, I'm going to go for a 2 1 Manchester United win. Yes, I'm going to go for Manchester United to beat Manchester City. Were you surprised about that or not? If we do lose to City, fair, fair enough, you know, but I think because we're at home, I think we're going to be really up for it. Um, it's a Manchester derby, we're battling for top four, We've really got something to play for, we're in good form. We're quite, we're looking quite confident at the moment. I think we can definitely, definitely get win win this game. I think we can, I think we can win the game. I'm not saying that we will, 
because that, that might sound a bit arrogant and unrealistic. But I think United can win this game, definitely. I do feel that we can. Um, I just hope we don't get blown away by City in the end. But I do think we can get the crowd behind us and show fighting commitment and desire and we can pull through. Leicester against Aston Villa. Uh, I think Leicester want a, a bit of revenge on Villa after knocking them out in the Carabao Cup. I'm going to go for 3-0 to Leicester in this one in the Monday night game. Villa need to battle against survival, obviously. Uh, battle for survival. And Leicester need to improve um, in their bid to finish in the Champions League. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the Watford training session will be out later. And I shall see you all soon. Goodbye.